Happy Friday, everybody. My name is Stuart Huggins, and I'm the student minister here at the Leslie Center in Chattanooga. And if you're like me, you didn't realize that today was like the going into the third week of April, and you're just like, holy crap, we only have like three weeks left of school. Well, yeah, we only have three more weeks, and uh, I promise you we're going to get through it together, but I am stressing hard myself. But today is Friday, April 16th, and our DBRs for today are Psalm 4, Daniel 10, 2 through 19, and 1 John chapter 2, 26 through 28. And you best believe I'm going to be doing Psalm 4 today. Let's jump into it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Answer me when I call to you, O God who declares me innocent. Free me from my troubles and have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people ruin my reputation? How long will you make countless accusations? How long will you continue your lies? You can be sure of this. The Lord set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will answer when I call to him. Don't sin by letting anger control you. Think about it overnight and remain silent. Offer sacrifices in the right spirit and trust the Lord. Many people say, who will show us better times? Let your face smile on us, Lord. You have given me greater joy than those who have abundant harvest of grain and new wine. In peace, I will lay, lie down and sleep. For you alone, O oh Lord, will keep me safe. So this psalm really kicks off after a guy named Absalom, who is David, who was one of King David's sons, tried to kill David because he wanted to be king. And David ran away. And one evening, David prayed to God, "Show my enemies that you are fighting for me." So God prayed. So excuse me. God answered David's prayer and it made him very happy. David slept in peace. The peace that God gives gives means that the peace that God gave David meant that he did not fear deep down inside that he was about to get murdered by his own son, right? So verses 1 through 2, David prays to God in those two verses. David was a good man, but that did not make him righteous. Only God can make someone righteous, right? So David asked for help. Listen to me. In Hebrew means answer me. That's, that's kind of the meaning behind that. David told God what he wanted to say, to say to his enemy. He really wanted God to tell him. David wanted to say to them, you cannot win. This is because the enemies of David were fighting God pretty much. Their stupid ideas were that they wanted David dead. That's a pretty crazy idea so that they could become king. That, that was um, the absolutely crazy idea they had. They killed David. He would... Absalom would become king. And again, that was his son. So verses 3 and 4, in his mind, David talks to his enemies in his prayer. David gives more reasons why his enemy cannot win. And um, every one of them backs up spirituality and um, purpose in God's eyes. And that is the Lord chose David as king, not Absalom, right? The Lord did not choose Absalom. The Lord made David different from his enemies, and the Lord will listen to David and answer him. This will make the enemies of David very angry, as you can imagine. They must, they must do nothing wrong, though. They can argue in their thoughts, they must, but they must not speak their ideas aloud. So verses 5 through 8 uh, really focuses on God gives David joy. Offer the right gifts means kills, kill animals on the temple altar. A part of the Bible called Leviticus tells, tells us what they are. It also means offer bread and wine. Uh, Christians do not do that now, really. Um, they offer themselves to become the servants of God. Many people still say, who will do anything good for us? Our answer is the same as David, the Lord. He will shine the light of his face on them. And this can mean many things. One is that the Lord will give help to anybody, especially poor people who are in need of help. So that is all I have. That was Psalm 4, the, the entirety of Psalm 4. So hang in there, everybody. We're going to survive these next few weeks. I am struggling, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm, I'm really struggling right now. Um, but we're going to be okay. we got we got a few weeks left, and then as soon as finals week are over, we're probably all going to sleep for like three days straight, and I cannot wait. So uh, we'll see you guys next week. Peace.